it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Today starts another reading vlog, so stay tuned. So it is currently Wednesday, April 10th, and it's like 10.30 at night. And I didn't vlog anything on Monday because I spent pretty much the entire day editing a video. And then today I've been editing and also I've been procrastinating. But I did get some reading done on both days. So Xander and I are still reading Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And we have made it to page 271. So we only have this much left. Not much at all. And on Monday, me, Clint, Emily, Kai, we're doing a buddy read for our muggle studies. So we're doing some, some group studying together. And we're working on reading a contemporary, which is Turn Us All the Way Down by John Green. And I'm currently on page 114 of this. We're doing three chapters a day. So today we got through chapter nine. So tomorrow I just need to read this much. Stop on page 160. And I think, I don't know. I need to start something else tomorrow too. I'm not sure what. Tomorrow Xander has the YMCA and I'll, I'll be able to listen to something on the way there and back. And I have um, some errands that I have to run. Like, I have appointments while he's at his thing, and I have appointments after. So, let's see. Marty and I have something in the evening. So, I can probably start Partials by Dan Wells tomorrow with him. And I don't know what else I want to start. I'm either going to start The Dazzling Heights or Splintered. I'm not sure which. <sighs> Also, I got a little bit of filming done today. As I'm mentioning these other books, I ended up filming sort of a part two to my Owl's Magical Readathon TBR because I've almost completed all of the five that I needed for my job or for ORS. And I'm not, I'm actually not sure now that I've looked into it more if I want to do OR, but I'm just going to aim to do all of the Owls and then I'll figure out the job later. But, um, yeah, so I filmed that, and now I need to get a video uploaded for tomorrow, and possibly film something else tonight. I don't know. Oh, but I do have some book mail, or bookish mail in this case. So, let's open the Once Upon a Bookcase subscription box first. This is the one that I got my Babysitter Club one that I love so much. My phone's actually in the other room charging right now because it was almost dead. And I'm trying to like not let myself get distracted by my phone because I've done that way too much today. I have so procrastinated on doing anything I needed to do today. I even went on Instagram Live, which I like never do, but it was fun. I think I stayed on there for maybe an hour. I don't know. Okay. Let's. Uh, there's still more tape. Hold on. It's so very, very well taped. At least it felt like an hour on there. I don't know if it was actually that long or not. But it was fun. I chatted. I uh, spilled the beans on some upcoming things. <laughs> but by now that story will be gone. So, <laughs> Alright. Looking in. It looks like so. Ah. I totally guess what this was. It is The Princess Bride. And on the back it says, as you wish. <laughs> Cute. And as always, there's the screen protector in here as well. And a little cloth. Nifty. And then it comes with some goodies. So we have this print that says, as you wish, that day she was amazed to discover that when he was saying, as you wish, what he meant was, I love you. And even more amazing was the day she realized she truly loved him back. And this is also our spoiler card. Okay. Oh, what is this? It looks like a, a ribbon headband or something. 
who says it is a buttercup's floral crown. Buttercup was known to have flowers in her hair, and now you can too. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. How pretty. You tie it like this. Or you could wear it like so. I like it like this. I think that's pretty. And just tie it under my hair. Okay, what else do we have? We have a little necklace here. This says it's Iocane's Powder Necklace. Now you have some of the deadliest poisons known to man. And it looks like so. How cute. That is super cute. And then we have some Princess Bride playing cards. It looks just like our phone case. I'm going to open it up and see what the cards actually look like. I've seen this movie, but like a long time ago, so I really don't remember anything about it. But I feel like it's a lot of people's favorite. So I feel like I should maybe watch it again sometime. Okay, so the back looks like that. And the front of the cards will look like that. Fun stuff. I think I'm going to take another break from the phone case thing though because I'm getting quite a few of them and I don't need to change them out every month. I think it would be cool if it was more of a like a seasonal thing instead of a monthly thing because I mean who needs a new phone case every month? I don't. Okay now on to my Amazon package. This is a book that I pre-ordered and it came in the mail yesterday. Okay, let's open this up. <clears throat> Almost got it. Okay. Ah, I'm so excited for this book. Uh, it is The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu. And this is the story of Alec and Magnus when they're doing their like world tour, their, their romance. And oh my God, I can't wait. It's actually a lot thinner than I expected it to be because, I mean, all the other books are so big. <laughs> and it's just black. Ooh, but that spine is pretty. I'm so happy to have this. Oh, I don't know when I'm going to get into this, but... Ooh, I'm... <laughs> I might make a change to my TBR. Dang it! I wish I hadn't already filmed because I forgot this was two authors. So I could actually use this for arithmetic. Read a book by more than one author. I'm already almost finished because. Where's my book? This is my arithmetic because it's more than one author. It's John Tiffany and Jack Thorne. Maybe I'll do this one too. Because I don't want to wait. Oh, I don't want to wait. I'm excited. Alright, well that's about it for now. I need to, like I said, do some more filming. Get a video uploaded. And I need to get to bed because I gotta get up with Xander in the morning and take him to the Y. So I will just talk to you probably tomorrow. We'll see. So, it's Sunday, um, it's like 2.34 in the afternoon, yeah, I really fa failed at vlogging this week, and I am so sorry. I had every intentions of doing it, but well, things got really, really crazy. Um, my friend that you may have seen in one of my other vlogs, the one that lives across the street from me, she thought she was going to be moving and so I was helping her with doing what she needed, packing things up and all of that. And things happened, and I don't know if she wants me to talk about it in this video, but things happened and she won't be moving anywhere. 
which I told her I was like a little selfish part of me was like yay because she gets to stay and I'm happy that she'll be here but I feel really bad for her because it was some stupid stupid stuff but um yeah so all the things that occupied me to keep me from reading and vlogging and all of that well there was no point but on Thursday I actually did get some reading done um I told you that on Thursday Xander had the Y and I was going to do some running around with appointments and that kind of thing and during that I listened to Splintered by A.G. Howard and I am currently on page 130 of this also I think on Thursday I got to page 160 of Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, which is the buddy read that I'm reading. And I'm supposed to be um, like 21 chapters in and I'm only 12 chapters in right now. So yeah, I'm behind on that. On Thursday, however, Xander and I did finish Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And I think I would give this four stars because I did for the most part enjoy it. Um, I'm sure, uh, Zoe is going to have a much lower rating for this, but I actually did kind of enjoy it, but I do see what she means by the whole fan fiction feel to it because it, it does have that feeling. I'm looking forward to seeing the play of this. I've heard that the play is about a million times better than the book. So I'm looking forward to actually going and seeing that at some point, but I didn't hate it. I, it wasn't the quality of the other Harry Potter books, but I didn't hate it. And then Friday, didn't read anything because I was um, doing stuff with my neighbor. And then Saturday, last night, the only thing I read was Xander and I started The Misadventures of Edgar and Allan Poe, The Telltale Start, and we got to page... 24 of this. It's really cute so far. Just so you know, as far as the owls goes, this completed Arithmacy, which is a work written by more than one author because it's written by John Tiffany and Jack Thorne. This is for Ancient Runes, which is a retelling. This is for Muggle Studies, which is a contemporary. And this is for Care of Magical Creatures because it has a land animal on the cover. And that's all I've read at this point. I am going to try to catch up on this today if possible. And later, I don't know, but I may actually try to get some painting done in Xander's room. I don't know. But if I do, I'll probably listen to the audiobook of Splintered while I do that. But so far, I mean, yeah, I haven't done a huge amount of reading, but I did finish one book, so that's good. And I did start another and got some reading done. Also on Thursday, after I dropped Xander off at the Y, but before I had to go to my first appointment, I went to Ulta. So I have a little Ulta haul for you. They were having a sale and I had gotten emails about it. Plus I got an email with a 20% off coupon because I'm a Diamond Rewards member. Because I spend way too much money in Ulta. <laughs> but I got these Changing Magic Foot Peeling Shoes. They were like buy two, get two free. So I got four of them. And I think it's just supposed to get rid of like all the dead skin and stuff on your feet. And I thought it'd be nice. They were originally a $6.50 each, but with the buy two, get two free, I only paid $3.25 a piece for them. So not bad. Also, they had this Bliss Jelly Glow Peel, a non abrasive exfoliator with fruit enzymes. And and they were 25% off, so I got them. I think originally they were $12, and I got them for $7.20. Oh, that's the 25% off, and then another 20% off with my coupon. So $7.20. Then I also got this Lorac Porefection Mattifying Face Primer, and this stuff, they, they tried it on me in the store, and I loved it, so I got some of that. And with my 20% off, I paid $26.40 for this. Also, I got these Ardell Wispies fake lashes. 
I thought they were pretty. And they were on sale for 40% off and originally they were $4.99. So I got them for $2.99. So NYX was also having a sale where you spend, I think it was $20 and you get this like three piece gift set for free. So let me show you what I bought first. Opening up the packaging. Okay, so I got two of these Glitter Goals liquid eyeshadows and I got one matte lipstick. So let me show you the Glitter Goals liquid eyeshadow. This first one is Multiverse. And it looks like so. Just like brown, glitter, pretty. The next shade is Polished Pinup, and it looks like this. And that looks like so. Very, very pretty. And then the matte lipstick is in the color Whipped Caviar, and I thought this was so pretty. And that looks like this. Beautiful. And then here is a little gift set. So there is this clear like jelly pink fanny pack. Which I personally don't think I'll actually use. But Becca might want it. I don't know. And then inside of it we have the NYX Pore Filler Primer Base and the NYX Matte Finish Finny Matte Long Lasting Setting Spray. And they look like this. Oh, and I didn't tell you the prices of the NYX stuff. The glitter eyeshadow was $8, but with my 20% off, I got them for $6.40 each. And then the matte lipstick was normally $6, but with my 20% off, I got it for $4.80. And then e.l.f. was also having a special where you spent $15 on e.l.f. products and you got a free gift. So I got some liquid eyeliner, which I've actually already opened and I'm currently wearing. I love this stuff. I also got some Shadow Lock Liquid Eye Primer. I got this liquid matte lipstick, which is actually what I'm wearing right now. And then I got this e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder, which looks like so. And I actually paid for the e.l.f. stuff separate because I had a coupon for $3.15. $3.50 off when you bought $15 or more and $3.50 is better than 20% so I did these as a separate because I got exactly $15 so the powder was originally $6 but after the coupon it brought it down to $4.61 the eye primer and the eyeliner were $2 each but I got them for $1.53 after the coupon and the matte lipstick was five dollars but it got it for 3.83 after the three dollar and fifty cent coupon and then i haven't even looked at what the gift is here it is elf gotta glow lip tint in perfect berry let's open this up and check it out it's a really pretty packaging it is dark oh my gosh okay let's see how this actually looks on my skin okay it's very like sheer and shimmery it looks like that you can't really tell the shimmer, but okay. It's kind of glossy. It looks like it's going to be like almost black, but it's not. Just a lip tint. So that's neat. All in all, I spent about $93 for all of that. And that is my little Ulta haul, which 
Glad I could add a little something extra to this, especially because I was terrible at vlogging this week. But Friday I edited a video, which was my random book haul, and I posted that Saturday morning. And yesterday I edited a video, but I haven't like uploaded it and stuff that's going to post before this, which is like my part two of my Owl's TBR. And now I'm going to go and I need to do some filming. I also need to run across the street in a little bit to help my neighbor with something. And I need to get the videos uploaded and I have another video to edit. So don't know how much reading I'm going to get done today. Probably not much of anything. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm just going to call it here because I don't see myself reading much of anything. I might read Tonight with Xander and that's pretty much it. So I think I'm just going to end this vlog here. And I'm sorry it was so short and I didn't show you much at all. Hopefully I'll make up for that next week. But if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, but hopefully, you know, with more days covered, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you.